Hello you lovely people. Welcome to Accounting Lecture, our YouTube channel. It's been a while I was away, but uh, I came back with a request video from one of my students. She was uh, my A-level student, but now doing AT level 4 in London and working for one of the finest uh, accountancy firms in London. It's from um, one of the management accounting uh, topics and the book she's using is Osborn and I'm happy to use Osborn books because I have got express permission from Osborn to use their materials in my video. I'm grateful to them. Well, she has tried the question and done some of the answers as you can see here some figures but she's not sure about the last three we'll go over one by one of all this these are some uh, variable uh, cost fixed cost and trade receivables and trade payables it's we call it what if analysis what if your sales price goes up by a certain percentage what if your uh, um, variable cost goes down by a certain percentage uh, so how do you deal with this type of questions let's keep going with our question uh, the picture is not that uh, clear but if you turn it on with HD hopefully you can see a better view the table below um, shows uh, the current situation for a company that buys and sells a single product current sales are 2500 units per month based on a selling price 15 pound great inventory is valued at a variable cost yes inventory will be valued at cost this time variable cost and is equal to three months sales keep in mind then customers take two and a half months to pay so that is going to be your trade receivables payables relates to variable costs yeah payables are at cost again and are paid in two months a suggestion has been made to reduce the selling price by 20 percent so from 15 you got to reduce it by 20 percent which is actually 12. that's so far so good so our selling price is 12. that's great which it is thought will result in an increased sales volume. Yeah, because we have reduced our selling price, the demand should go up by 40%. Now, if you do 40% of 2,500 uh, your units, you did 40%, and if you get the calculator, it says it's 1,000 unit increased. So before 2,500, now 1,000, your total sales are 3,000. 500 superb we need these workings later on based on the requirements complete the table below based on the proposed assuming and uh, net current assets we will be doing no problem with that uh, okay let's see whether Karen got this one correct or not 42,000 she said sales the current position is 37,500 how because is 2500 I'm getting my calculator times by 15 is 37,500 but if you remember our new sales are 3,500 units and selling price is 12 so 12 pound times by 3,500 equals to what does mr. calculator say you can hear the noise of the calculator 42,000 superb very well done 42,000 is the answer that was good. Variable costs are 25,000 at this moment. But how can you find a, a, a proposed one? How did you get 25,000? What you need to do is, at current, at current position, we are producing 2,500 unit selling. So each unit costs you 10. 25,000 divided by 2,500. So the cost of, variable cost of each unit is 10. So how many units you are uh, producing and selling now? You are producing and selling 3,500 per month times by what do you do is 10. 
pound 10. And that is your answer, 35,000. That's boom, well done. Good going. I got the two correct answers from my old student. Well, fixed cost remains fixed, whatever the level of activity. So this is correct. Whether your sales goes up or down, cost goes up or down, no matter. It's your fixed cost. It doesn't go up or down. It remains constant. And there we go. From your sales, if you deduct your variable cost, your fixed cost, and you're supposed to get 2000 operating profit. Superb good work. That's, that was our first part um, of the question. The second part is about net current asset. And over here, you meant to find out your inventory, closing inventory, receivables and payables. And um, she already found one of the answers. So we'll check whether it is correct or not. Uh, based on the current position, we need to go to the proposed position. Well, um, receive, um, no, not receivables, inventory. Okay, so let's go to the inventory information. What is being said? We have already seen it. I'll take another color pen this time for our inventory. Inventory is valued at variable cost. So our variable cost is 10, if you remember, people, and equal to three months' sales. Our each month's sales is 3,500. So we want to do some working at the bottom for this inventory here. So a variable cost of 10 pounds and sales are 3,500 units each month, but it is for three months, if you remember. I have. Um, this is your highlighting, three months sales. So if it is so, what we're going to do, yes, times by three month. Let me take my calculator, 10 pound times by 3,500 times by three month. And the answer is 105,000. Excellent job, that is the correct answer. <coughs> Excuse me, that. Okay, so now second one is our receivables. We want to check what is being said regarding the receivables. And it is here. Let me take another color pen. Which color? I have been choosing all the colors. Customers take two and a half months to pay. So two and a half months of your sales and what is your total sales 42,000 is your sales each month so two and a half months 42,000 is your sales times by 2.5 months equals to get the calculator ready 42,000 times by 2.5 105 that is going to be your trade receivables because two and a half months of your sales are credit, are due. That is your trade receivables. Okay, let, let's talk about trade payables. That's the last one. This is TR, trade receivables. This is INV, inventory, and this is TP, trade payables. Okay, keep going up. Let's try to find our trade payables. Where is that said? Somewhere here. Payables relate to variable cost, which is £10, remember, and uh, paid in two months. Okay, two months and variable cost, remember. So, our variable costs are £10. Oh, what happened? <laughs> okay, no worries. Times by each month we supposed to purchase and sell 3500 times by two months so 10 pound times by 3500 times by two months the answer is 70000 your trade payables now inventory and receivables are current asset and payables is a current liability. Your net current asset 
105 plus 105 minus 70 is 140,000. That was so easy peasy. Thanks for watching, people. And you can subscribe one of my another channels called London Educators. I'm going to make loads of videos very soon on that channel. And because of coronavirus, it is more advisable and useful to use our videos online. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye.